Good morning, everybody. It's not going to be as warm as yesterday today. Be prepared for that and some more scattered showers out there. But yesterday, whew, finally above average, we had a high of 53 degrees into Green Bay. We saw the heavy rain in the morning and then the sunshine in the afternoon and then a few scattered sprinkles out there later on in the evening. But in terms of rainfall, we picked up over a half an inch of rainfall here into Green Bay, over an inch further up into the northern areas. As you can see throughout the Fox Valley, about a half an inch, generally speaking. Now, an area that really got hit. Duluth and on the north shore of Lake Superior with heavy snowfall. It looks like the middle of winter up there. They just got a foot over a foot of snow across the north shore there, even into Duluth, the actual city, seven inches of snowfall. Trees are sagging. It is a heavy, wet snow that was trying to melt, but of course they've got so much of it. It's not going anywhere right now, and they are still continuing to get hit along the north shore, Duluth and into northwest Wisconsin from the system. It's also also pulling in some cooler temperatures here this morning, about five degrees cooler than yesterday. We're back down into the 30s now, mid to upper 30s, better than the upper 20s and near that freezing mark into Minnesota, but not quite as nice as waking up to the low to mid 40s like Chicago and Detroit. So the winds are still out of the south. They're not nearly as breezy. They're five to 15 miles per hour. They're going to be gusting to about 15 throughout the afternoon. Not too bad, right? That's because the low pressure system's right over us. Things are going to change change though as we cruise into this evening. We'll get into that in just a second. First of all, this morning it's overcast, it's cloudy. 623, we're going to see the sunrise out there. And it's 36 degrees outside into Appleton. Roads are just fine. Temperatures above freezing besides into Antigo. You're the only place below freezing right now, so you could see some flurries flying out there just like radar showing Antigo, Stevens Point and Watoma on that freezing line while the rest of us are looking at just some scattered sprinkles of regular rain throughout the Fox Valley. So here's the system in itself. Like I mentioned, we are going to see some snow chances mixing in through this morning. Changes back to all regular rain showers after noon today. So we do see chances of flurries there back to regular rain through the afternoon as we climb into the low 40s and then tonight things are going to be changing like I mentioned we'll be on the other side of this system the back end of it where we're going to see the strong winds pick up once again this will be after 10 p.m. gusting up to about 25 miles per hour through the overnight through tomorrow morning that's going to send us some, some more scattered flurries some spotty snow showers on and off throughout our day tomorrow main accumulation chances in the morning it wears out and thins out as we head through the evening cloud skies for your Saturday. So in terms of rainfall, we're not looking at any heavy downpours left here for us. Just a little annoying showers as temperatures stay cooler here today. Winds increase tonight. We drop below freezing. Snow chances arrive. No accumulations expected. Less than an inch if it does happen. And of course, that'll be melting as we cruise into the weekend. So cooler tomorrow with highs only into the upper 30s. Saturday, we climb into the mid 40s and we keep going up and up and up. And yes, you are seeing those numbers correctly. I wanted to put a 70 on Wednesday. It is possible, but I'm going to go with 68 degrees for right now. Oh, we can't get too excited just yet. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> Fingers crossed, everybody. Brittany, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Coming up at 5.15.